All right, we're going to talk about scatter plies and line of best fit. This is a little bit of statistics and a little bit of algebra all wrapped up into one beautiful lesson. Well, I don't know if you think it's beautiful, but yeah, it's okay. All right, so let's talk about what a scatter plot is. You've done these before. We're not going to take a lot of time drawing these. They're very tedious to create. Is a graph. in which two sets of data are plotted as ordered pairs in a coordinate plane. Um, so here we go. Let's talk about a different type of correlation. Okay. Correlation doesn't mean causation. Let's be very clear about that. Correlation means you can see a trend that, okay, as this one goes up, the other one goes up, or this one goes down, the other one goes down. It doesn't mean that one causes the other. That's a totally different thing. And in order to make sure you're understanding statistics, you need to make sure that you're not making an argument for causation when it's just simply correlation. They have something in common, which makes them have a connection. It doesn't mean that one is causing the other. So let's look at a positive correlation with real life data. We don't often get beautiful lines or perfect pieces of, um, perfect sets of data that make perfect lines. So we have to kind of look at the correlation. As X increases, Y increases. If X decreases, if we go backwards, then Y decreases. They're both moving in the same direction, okay? The way that looks on a graph and I'm just going to make a weird graph with an X and a Y. Just a quick, if we were doing a scatter plot, you would see dots that if you were to look at it, the trend is positive. As X grows, so does Y. If we go backwards and X is getting smaller, Y is getting smaller. Does that mean we don't have a weird outlier over here? No, we might have a weird outlier over here. Does that mean there isn't a correlation? No, it just means it doesn't always follow the exact mathematical trend that we want it to. Well, I want it to, because I like math. I wish everything went exactly as math goes. Here's an example. This is one of my favorite examples, and I'll tell you why. Your height and your shoe size. There is a correlation between these two. Generally, as you get taller, your shoe size gets bigger. Or is it that as your shoe size gets bigger, you get taller? It's a correlation. One doesn't cause the other to happen. It's a correlation. Does that mean that everybody has exactly that? As if I'm, if you're wearing a size 10 shoe that you're a certain height? No. Let me tell you about my uncle. My uncle John used to be a um, postman. He drove in those little Jeep things. He fell on his truck uh, three times and the truck drove away from him three times. The truck driving away has nothing to do with it, but it's just weird. Here's why I think this happens. He falls all the time, all the time. My uncle John is six foot three. His shoe size is a men's eight. His feet are too small for his height. If I were to put him on a graph, he would be an outlier. His shoe size and height don't connect the way most people's do. Now we have a theory about that. He came from a pretty poor family. So we think he wore hand-me-down shoes most of his life. And so his feet were kind of bound in those shoes. And so they didn't grow the way they supposed to. I don't know if that's true or not, but I want you to see that not always does it match perfectly. It's the real world. Sometimes shoe size and height, they don't correlate as well as other times. Okay. Um, hours worked. Now this should, this is a causation. The more hours you work, causes your pay to go up. There is a causation there. Okay. If you're working more hours and you're getting less pay, something's wrong in the job. Okay. 
Try to think of some other things that have positive correlations. Let's talk about a negative correlation. A negative correlation means that the x and the y are kind of going in opposite directions. As the x increases, the y decreases. Or, as the x decreases, as we go backwards on the x, the y is going up. What does that look like? All right, well, let's draw a quick negative correlation. Do I have some outliers? Absolutely. But in general, you can see here that as x gets bigger, y is going down, okay? So here's some examples. As you, the more TV you watch, as your TV watching goes up, your grades generally go down. Is that always true? Some of you right now are ready to argue with me. Oh, but I watch a lot of TV and my grades are going up. Of course, it's not true at all times. It's true majority of the time. How about this? The more you exercise, generally, the lower your weight. Could your weight go up with more exercise? Absolutely, especially if you're lifting weights and building muscle, your weight might go up. Okay, well, then this isn't exact. That's because this isn't, the world doesn't follow the math world exactly. How I wish it did. Oh, one person likes to say, what about if I was lifting weights? Well, generally speaking, the higher the weight you lift, the lower reps you can usually do. Okay, so those are some examples of negative correlation. As one goes up, the other goes the opposite direction, uh, goes down. Now, then you have some things that just have no correlation whatsoever. Now, people will try to convince you sometimes that things have correlation, but you need to use your brain and the wisdom that you have from all your learning, and you need to think about this. There's no relationship. There's no causation, and there's no correlation. Let me show you what it would look like on a graph, and I think you kind of know. Yeah, it would be random dots all over the place with no real organization whatsoever. There's no way to say that. Here's a couple examples. These are fun to think of. I always think anyway. For example, shoe size and grade. If someone tries to argue with you that your shoe size determines your grade, something's really wrong. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter. There's no connection. Your hair color and your height. Oh, that's not really a good one. Um, how about this? Your hair length. I was trying to think of numbers. Hair length and your height. Oh, you know what? I know a lot of bald people, Mr. B, that are taller than me. Okay? I know people with really long hair but are really short people. Or vice versa. There's no correlation. There's no causation there. There's nothing going on between the two of those. All right, so you're going to do a quick exercise for your homework doesn't have a lot to do, uh, just you're going to tell me correlation or no correlation, and then you're going to explain the graph.